Again, shouting out open mind of folk. So we're back with a another <clears throat> track. I think this is from the Mad Villain album, Paper Mill. So Paper Mill. got Doom. I checked the playlist, our Doom playlist on the channel. There's no, we haven't done it. So, I never heard it. Uh, yeah, this is Mad Lib and Doom. <laughs> versatile motherfucker said, like, like doom well shit. written and for the hell of it it's well spit <laughs> or something like that it's just awesome to hear different shit you know like to hear an artist express themselves in different ways that they probably never did before you know we talked about that kind of with uh, yeah you know just how even doom would give the whole song to like his homies and shit you know he produced the beat or whatever because it's on his record but he'd have like just all I mean, it's featured all, it's MCs. Like it's he pretty dope. Wrapped to a click track, and then they dude. That's what it seems this like too. With the music, like because most people like rap but to a beat, and like if it's cluttered like this, like but there's even, just so much going on, and dude. Even he's just smooth rapping over that. Like he was asking, even in, he was asked in the uh, Red like he thrives in chaos. The Red Bull, yeah, the Red Bull Academy interview, and he. He always made the beat first, so he could have just concocted this beat. And then the lyrics came, you know. He knew he had to get fucking... Like, this is some speed rhymey shit for him, kind of, you know, like, in ways. Spell it, pop it, dump it, a hundred and something, something, forest gump, chump, good clumps, and nothing for nothing, Taurus. Swung with the shores, with the sharks that hold up, spark that park rat. Stir it, not shaking, absurd verbs, it's worth the hot bacon. Wrote this rhyme on standard sandpaper. Worked out the plan and plot for Grand Caper. Fill on the cover of Playbill. Quirrell make your mother say ill. Hey, will ya? Ten feet at least. The peace may steal ya. Yeah, I feel ya. Hey, what's better than the healing and worse than tequila? A money get nigga that's thirsty than a squilla. I guess you had to be there. It was free beer. Last to the hand saws on the microphone. Cyclone like landmark. This whole the way he's approaching this whole song like it's different throughout the whole song really you know like he's slowing down there's 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 like he's not saying he didn't say anything there and then he came back in he's you can tell he just maybe that's a very first take doom getting on this shit and he's just like he's feeling it out right you know and here you go 
Mm-hmm. Ends up being paid the bill. Sounds good. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's do it. You know, like maybe he felt like, oh, there should be a pause here. I don't say shit, and I come back in. And in the jar, got stuck, took it. Used the glasses, just the pot luck, crooked. Fast and not looking. Four words, cast on the spot. Book it. Howdy. Never too loud for me. Too rowdy and too black and too proud to be. And he's out here. Last scene with a queen. They cool, did a cool Molly or Dean. Yeah, I mean. That's one of the craziest beats ever. Whatever the hell that was. That was like some... Funky cat. That sound, or it was like some carnival music type shit mixed with some other shit. Like it... That's a kind of... It was like some... At a, some of it sounded like pitched down or up in an odd sounding way. And wild. Hey, listen in the comments. Details. You guys are awesome at that. That was a crazy track. Anything else to say, Claude? <laughs> Make sure you subscribe another, to the Mad Villain. Yeah, it's just another. You know, you know, just go listen, check them out. The legend, the great one, you know, one of the great ones for sure. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Doesn't get spoken on half as much as he should. Super underrated, really, because he is so like, you know, non commercial yeah, I mean, he in was a lot even of ways. On Adult Swim, like. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. And, and he did. Uh, he didn't, you know, catch on like a virus. There was an ad too I watched on YouTube. He was, it was like Chris around Christmas time. He's like, here you go, it's the mad villain, and he's drinking like some eggnog or some shit. He's got the sweater on with the mask, of course. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's just cool, man. Like if he never existed, we would never. I mean, obviously, we would have never. You know, we wouldn't have this amazing character. In hip hop, like it's he, but no one else also, did comic book like, shit like him. Like it's, it probably would have been incredible. better if like his brother would have lived. He and dude, yeah. The villain never would have, right? Been, you know, because that even that character is such a representation of of when that happened. Like when his brother passed away, that's really why he embodied Doom to begin with. Yeah, you know, because wearing that mask is tell- yeah, it's so, telling every it's telling society I that mean, the doom is great. I'm the villain, but it would be better. You're not supposed to like me. The you know, doom like, never existed, right? And it, it it goes to show though, like what can come out of a human being when some kind of tragedy like that happens, like this plethora of incredible work. You know, like it's just nonstop, like. Like I said before, we'll probably we'll probably never get to all his. You know, he has so many fucking songs. He's done so many collab projects, and <clears throat> nobody's done as many as he has. He's got some of the best collab projects in music, period. Whether it's hip hop or whatever, makes you wonder what it's incredible. They would have some of the most together. Yeah, him and his, like, dude, you if know, KMD when it went on and shit, like. KMD was special. Made. You know, like Peach Fuzz, man, those those dudes were on that track alone, like they're just lyrically, you know, masters of what they do and shit. Too, yeah. And they're kids. You know, Doom was like twenty or something. A little over twenty, like they're it's cool. Like even the guys in like a tribe called Quest, they were all like fourteen years old when they started making beats and shit. You know, to know what you want to do at that fucking young of an age, and to you're like right in the epicenter. I mean, like that, of that shit too. Like, I, you know, like I would play with like hip-hop. things like that, yeah. and like I never really <clears throat> thought about the you know reaching millions of people with yeah. what I was doing, just playing and having fun. You know, what yeah, I mean? innocently. But you know, there's good things in that, and like somebody's there to capture it and well, that's what i'm saying too like a lot of these dudes that got started in hip-hop in the 80s and 90s like they're in the if they're in new york they're in the fucking middle of it because that's where it really kicked off you know like yeah you go back to the you know the message and shit that that song alone it's uh i mean yeah there's a lot of acts that took off just because of be cool to right know. place right time type shit and they're the, doing their thing the being or the person that was like like what 
it had it must have been a percussion y a percussion y thing that where hip hop started. Where, no, music itself. Oh like the first music itself. one to like Wow. Bloop, 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 you know, like to do whatever or you even see just times, like man. like whistle. Yeah. Like wow, whoa. I mean, they must have been thousands and then and... hear a bird whistle and like mimic it, but then be like, huh. I mean even back in like and then like two or three people like, whoa. I'm bet... whistling, but I'm whistling, but mine sounds different than yours, but they sound good together and like harmonizing on slowly and then like somebody knocking something and like, oh, no, you know, like I'm trying to like project myself into about a billion years. Yeah. And in like, the past people figuring out, you know, a structure for all these sounds, what can you know, and, and, it, and it turned into being the names of the notes and shit and like it. Even vocal notes relates to every type of note on an instru <clears throat> instrument all day. But I mean, to discover that these eight notes 12 are notes, the yeah. only... Twelve notes, right? Yeah. Well, they're, then the sharps and the flats. Right, whatever, right, but right, like right. The, like, these notes... It's the foundation of... Are the ones... Yeah. And there's tons of notes, but it's the same notes right. in either a high frequency or low frequency. Yeah. But they repeat over and over and over again. And we're talking about like, you know, like life is a frequency condensed into a form, a wavelength that things can live in. And, 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 and there are only 12 notes to frequencies right. to be our frequencies different than notes or hmm. and, and like i know a frequency is like you know the 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 wave is either really fast or really slow yeah and then hmm. frequency and then what there's another way to describe sound or music what was like the very first instru instrument you think was created ever though was it like a wind instrument or was it a drum or something? Like they stretched the animal skin and there's your drum hit. It's probably like two hit. blocks of wood or two rocks or... Right? Like, just you know, clinking or, shit together or, or, or know, something. Like yeah. tapping your foot in a puddle. Or it's whistle. fucking true, man. You know, like the whistle was used as the Go first instrument back. maybe. Or humming. It's just or, the, you know, it's just the human body, really. Voice. The first instrument, yeah. Um, Damn using surroundings or using yourself like yeah you know hearing a bird and then like trying to like Interpreting, eh, and then like emulate. you hear somebody go like whoa what the, what, what <laughs> would you just do like i blew right. my mouth the, the first like, whistle whoa. ever the first whistle and then you ever whistle dude. together and you hear those frequencies bounce off each other and you're just like whoa what was it's that? incredible when you think about that especially shit. if you're like in a cave and you hear birds or like you know whatever or like dripping water the rhythm of it and the sound of it yeah damn dude and then the echo of that in a cave if you listen in the comments you out till you find out what it is and you're like whoa you made it to 1313 continue the conversation we're out of here Peace.